Florida State in the home whites. We will tip things off and we are underway at the Tucker Center in Tallahassee with Florida State controlling the opening tip for some Cardinals Seminoles basketball today from Tallahassee. Morgan Jones right to the rim. That's what she does, slashes to the hoop. McDonald's All-American, obviously you reload when you have the program going at the rate that Louisville does. Jeff Walls in his 14th season averaging nearly, well, if you round up, 28 wins per season. Able to recover and then just has to get that shot up with the clock winding down in Florida State. Some great hustle for Morgan Jones to keep that alive. Couldn't and agree more, and it leads to a three there from Courtney Weber. And so there's never been a, a long stretch to get in a flow for Brooke Wyckoff's team. Louisville offensively. Florida State scrambling to recover. And underneath, up and in, the Cardinals reclaim the lead. And Olivia Cochran, who has been such a tremendous presence down low for the Cardinals all season, incredibly efficient down there. Seeing Florida State. Morgan Jones, when she gets going, is tremendous. Look at that shot, up and in, muscles at home. Jones, this is in her nature, slashed into the basket, good, hard, physical finish. And Florida State needed every one of them. So 9-7 as she can't complete the three-point play. Cardinals, meanwhile, uh, it was 9-7 for about a nanosecond. <laughs> a physical contest down low, anticipating even more contact than what she got. There's a shot block rejected to Puisis and pushing are the Knowles. If this game settles in a little bit more, it was pretty frenetic early on. Well, you turn around, the defense isn't there. Why not just call your own name and number and knock that home? Florida State, very physical, very aggressive. How about that balance to hang and hit? Didn't even play a game until earlier this month. Nice answer from Louisville. That shot is up and in. Louisville, but gave up the rock. Their defense has been pretty good, but uh, the mid-range they have connected of late. Baldwin could not get the uh, stop, and as a result on the pirouette, up and in. In transition, Weber wants to push. And it pays off. Let's see if Evans can get going. Well, that's as easy a bucket as you're going to find all day. Cochran. Knowles have plenty of time offensively to work as they spread the floor. Puisis into Myers. She's fouled. You're going to have to hang tough down low. They don't allow many perimeter chances. They don't allow many perimeter field goals. So you're going to have to... Really contact there, but no whistle on the shot off the mark. Now running, that's an excellent pass in transition, and maybe that'll get Louisville going. They've been struggling outside. A five-point lead now. Five turnovers for Louisville, but Florida State's really gotten their hands in there and deflected a lot of balls, made life difficult for the Cardinals. Look at that rim from Morgan, uh, or the uh, roll rather, on the rim from Morgan. Evans looking for a lane, looking for an alley. Will stop and left it short, and Florida State's got it. Pushing it up the core, England has help. Great feed, and Florida State leads 28-26. England came in and got some valuable minutes for Florida State, so we'll see here with a fresh half what Bianca Jackson can do, especially if she manages to stay out of foul trouble. The three in transition. Watch list for being a preseason ACC newcomer, and rightfully so. That was smooth, so smooth. Cochran, Jackson, just ice cold today. Myers will get the rebound. Right place, right time. Getting that second chance opportunity, putting it up, making it count. Evans, pass. great pass. He's pretty good at everything, Tom. Morgan Jones, meanwhile, with the answer. Off the mark, Evans with the reverse, no good. But Cochran right there to clean it up. Defense! 
Evans again. Boy, I'll tell you what, she may not be scoring, but she is setting her teammates up. Clock ticking, Florida State's got to go. Weber, how about that? Throws it up. Good defensive uh, possession. But Louisville, as uh, they get deep in the possession, gets a really good look and a good shot. Under two to play, third quarter. Florida State led by two at intermission. Oh, and a recovery defensively by Morgan Jones. That looked like it was a point-blank layup. That shot, silky smooth for Evans. I thought maybe she dragged her pivot foot first, but gets it up and in and a six-point lead. Good-looking baseline J by Evans. Baldwin, pretty move. With just a four-point lead as play begins in our final period. Morgan yeah. Jones has been quiet this half, but man, gets right to the rim. Morgan Jones, which is a pretty good person to look for. Jones that time, though, didn't have a great lane to the basket, and now Louisville is running. Evans in transition, able to hit. Shot clock at seven, and now Weber's going to go. Right on cue, and she's actually into double figures. It's a quiet 11, it feels like, for her, though, in this game. The shooting clinics go. This today, not one of them. Jones, as scoring clinics go, however, up to 22 points, and Florida State's got the lead. Boy, Florida State was not in position to crash that glass at all initially, and wow! Florida State gets the three from Weber. One of the best three-point shooting teams in the conference. Van Lith, the lefty, very smooth. She'll take the two right there. There's still plenty of time left for Louisville. Full court press here, trying to trap. Wow. And Florida State gets the layup. It wasn't pretty. There were about four passes there that uh, just barely snuck through. He throws down the stretch, too. She's 12 for 15, but those three misses were earlier in the game. She's hit them at crunch time. There's Evans for double figures, so that streak extends. Louisville has to go to the backcourt to trigger that in. With a huge upset over the number three team in the country. They have done it again. The Knolls shocked the Cardinals. 68-59 the final, and then Oles celebrate a big, big win.